Colton Melhoff here from Modern Robotics to show you how to connect your Android phone to a Logitech game controller. This way you don't need to be tethered to someone else or something else or put your phone in your pocket. It can all be right there you can see everything while holding the controller. When you put it down on the table, it still stands up right on the controller footings. Let's check it out. This controller utilizes a new Modern Robotics part. This part is a phone mount and it has a moving clip on the side and two stationary clips which will hold in your phone. There is four millimeters of wiggle room or adjustment on each of the clips. So together going sideways they have eight millimeters of wiggle room. If you need more than that you just go to the next hole. This means it can fit any size tablet or phone with or without a case. We've tested very slim devices and very thick devices with these mounts. You'll need four phone mounts some matrix parts, some tools, your Logitech game controller, a on-the-go cable, some foam tape. We have some half-inch double-sided foam tape. You can also use single-sided foam tape um, or single adhesive foam tape. Uh, this stuff doesn't come off of anything very well after a while, so make sure this is actually what your controller is going to be used for um, before putting it on, or just use uh, something that is not adhesive to the controller. And that's it. So let's go over how you can assemble this onto your controller. First, take your 9-hole C-channel and we'll put three 32mm standoffs on it. On the top, we'll put two. This is where the cable is going to go through. And on the bottom, we'll put one, because that one will fit between the two joysticks. And now I'm going to take some foam tape and put it on the Logitech controller. I'm going to cut the foam tape to just about 32 millimeters. And on the back of the controller, there's a switch that is on X or D. For the new control system, you need the switch to be on X, not D. So a lot of teams already have tape over their controllers. Make sure you remove that tape, make sure it's on X. And then I'm taking my foam tape and I'm going to put it right over that switch. I'll put my other piece of foam tape on the bottom. Now I'm removing a piece of paper that protects the adhesive. And then I'll take these parts we assembled so far and put them square down onto that foam tape right in the middle. Push in a little bit so it sticks. So now we have a nice platform to build from. Next, we'll take a 3x3 three three flange plate and two screws. I'm going to screw it on to the front or the top of the controller. And then I'm going to take some more foam tape and put it on the top and then we'll put a nine long beam across the top there. That middle thing that says Logitech is actually a button so I'd recommend not putting it over that and also don't put the foam tape over the mode LED light because you'll need to know if the mode has been toggled or not. I'm ending up putting mine half over that mode. That's okay. Now, we're going to put on another C, uh, another flange plate, but at the same time, we're going to put the nine long beam across, and that's going to go inside of the C, just like it's going to go inside on the other side as well. So first, I'm going to line this up, going down. That worked. And then there's going to be a screw in this side. And now when you tighten this one down, you gotta make sure it's at a right angle to the controller. And then the other one, there'll be another screw that goes through, and that's gonna use a nut or a kept nut on the bottom side of that screw. Tighten that one. 
and now it goes in tight. Let me go back to that. Good. We're getting there. So now we're going to do four 16 millimeter standoffs off the top. That gives our thumbs enough room to get to the joysticks. And then we'll take the big gusset plate and attach it to the top. Now depending on where you attach this, forwards and backwards, your weight distribution is going to change. I found with the ZTE, it's best to mount it on the sixth hole to the top. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then we put four screws in there. You can adjust this as you need. Notice that I first just put the screws in lightly or loose and then I tighten them down. Make sure I didn't tighten it in the wrong spot. Now before we go farther, I'm going to do some strain relief on the cable coming out of the controller. So I'm going to put a zip tie in this back flange plate and leave some slack here, otherwise you're just making more strain for the cable. Just like this. And then I'm going to use a zip tie gun to make that tight. Next, we'll put the phone mounts on loosely because you'll need to tighten them once you get the phone in there. I'm going to put them in one hole from the side and start with the very top, as far up as I can go. Next one, we're going to put the bottom at the same distance as those bottom screws that are already in there. Now figure out what width these phone mounts should be at. You can put the phone in and then squeeze it tight and that's about where it should be. So I can kind of see how far out the sides are going to be and then that's where I'm going to tighten them down. Now we'll test it out. Looks good. Make sure those tabs aren't being pushed out too much, but make sure your phone is still tight. So right now that phone's not going anywhere. Next is going to be a zip tie this cable. Now this part you want to take your time on because if you don't do it right, the cable is going to be where your thumbs want to be when you're using the joystick. So we'll make sure that cable is up and neat uh, with that top. Also, when you wrap it up, it works well if you're on the go cable on the bottom of this gusset plate, is about in the middle and then coming out the back. This cable can actually fit through these two small standoffs where your thumbs go. That way it stays up to the top as much as possible. Okay, there it is. So I got my cable coiled up and my cable is coming out the right distance, right spot I want to. I'm going to put uh, three zip ties on. Put one here with all the cables, one here with all the other cables, and then one in the middle that will hold that on-the-go part where it needs to be. There we go. It's all held in. And now, the ZTE phone can snap on the top. Cable can go on this side. And you're good to go. Now we can control the whole robot and see the screen of your phone and not be uh, tethered to something else. These phone mounts will be available at modernroboticsinc.com shortly for sale. Also, if you'd like all the parts to connect your controller to your phone, we're going to give away two of these, one on Facebook and one on Twitter. Go and retweet this status on Twitter or go share it on Facebook and you'll get a chance to win this whole thing. We look forward to seeing you out on the playing field.
If you'd like to know right away when next videos are released, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you're not on YouTube right now, go to YouTube and click on the subscribe button. You can also click on it below if you're on YouTube right now. The little red button that says subscribe can turn into a gray subscribe button. I'll wait. I'm right here. Nothing else exciting happens up here. Scroll down a little bit, hit subscribe. We'll let you know when new videos are released, when we're talking about the controllers or new sensors or how to connect it all together. We look forward to seeing you here on the next video.